back with another session for us to go ahead and continue on with our talk about mental health. So I wanted to come on here today and talk to you guys specifically about how do we get into that dark place? How do we get into that dark place of depression? where we feel like we just can't go on any longer with where we are, what we're doing, um, how we're doing things. A lot of us, we get to the point, especially with me and my situation, it was all about guilt. It was all about shame. And so because I put that pressure, I put that stress on myself, I felt as though I needed to be better uh, I needed to do better. Um, it, it was all about me and, and what I felt, how I felt in that moment that really took me to that place. Um, and I know that a lot of you can definitely attest to what I'm, t what I'm saying right now. Even though, you know, a lot of us, we go into it completely different in some way or another. But I do want to definitely say that that's what started it for me because I was guilty because I felt as though, yes, I did take, you know, the steps that I took to basically put myself in this situation. And I knew the, the I guess, ramifications or the, of what I was doing, but and I knew that it was gonna hit me and hurt me, right? But I didn't know the magnitude of it. We go into things or we do things or we allow someone to make us feel some type of way because before it actually happens, we don't, we, we don't know how it's gonna affect us, right? Uh, or when it happens, we don't know the lasting effect that it can have on our psyche, on our lives in its entirety. And so I think that's where it comes from is that we just don't take that time. What we do is we think about it, but we think about it later. And because we don't take that time to go ahead and, and just put up a guard where we're like, okay, this is not going to affect me. I'm going to basically have a plan and not put myself or not get myself in this situation where it is going to affect me in the long run, where it is going to place me in a position where I will be depressed. I will feel sad. I will feel lonely. I will feel like I could have done better. I should have done better. Um, or I shouldn't have allowed this person to, uh, come into my life, my space, and make me feel this way, we get to a point where that happens, unfortunately, but we need to have a plan, right, before it happens. And a lot of us, we don't think about that. I mean, honestly, that's not something that automatically comes up. But I want to do something that I didn't even think about, actually, and I want to be able to go ahead and do it with you guys. It's, now, as hindsight, as I look at this, you know, after the situation, after the fact, I'm like, okay, I want to make sure that I have a plan, right? I want to make sure that what I'm doing, I'm not doing it um, at the last minute. I want to make sure that when I am faced with a challenge or I feel like I am I feel like I'm placing myself in a, in a situation to, to get hurt by myself or someone else, then I know, okay, I'm not going to allow that to get to me. What we can do, and I'll tell you the number one thing, and we can possibly talk about something, you know, uh, after this as well, but the number one thing that I'm thinking of right now is that we need to make sure that we stop and we think, right? We need to take this time 
to go ahead and stop and think about how we're feeling what we know we will we would potentially get into because if you don't take that time to stop and understand how you're feeling and what you're going through in that moment then it would take effect down the road right it would be something that is going to um, try to overcome to overcome you and you will succumb to the pressures you will succumb to the feeling the emotions you will succumb to uh, the negative thoughts that you would eventually have if you don't get to this point of just taking a stop take you know halting all of it and saying how do i feel right now right and then the second thing i want to say is that okay i want to make sure that i don't allow this to get to me so i talked about this before i said that when i um felt some type of way about man i could have done better I said, you know what? No, I turned that around and I said, I'm going to give myself a, self a pep talk right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all of that around. I'm going to turn that frown upside down to a smile, right? I'm going to make sure that that negativity does not penetrate my life and not penetrate my mind, not penetrate my emotions. Because once it breaks through, once that negativity breaks through, it's hard for it to it's hard for it to go away. It's hard for you to push it back, right? It takes more effort, more time for you to be able to push it away than it is for you to just block it automatically where it does not get in the way of what you're going through and what's happening in that moment, right? So what I'm saying is that instead of just waiting, right, for to see what's going to happen next, go ahead and take action right then and there. Part of your plan is to halt, take time, think about how you're feeling. Then secondly, make sure that you say, hey, I'm going to give myself a pep talk. I am going to tell myself, no, you are better than this. You are completely better than this. You don't have to put yourself in this situation. Think, turn those negative, those negative thoughts begin to start, begin to happen when we feel like we could have done better and we automatically think that's something that we automatically think oh my gosh i just did this i could have done this better right we automatically think that but what we don't do is we don't automatically know how to combat that right we don't say okay yeah i did do something here or there but at the same time, that's not going to define me, right? That's not going to be the end all be all for my life. That was only a small little situation that happened. But here's what I can do to make sure that it doesn't happen again. This is what I can do to make sure that I give myself a pep talk and say, girl, you got this. Or man, like you, you're good, right? You're good. You're okay. Like when we were younger, right? When we were younger, we fell down, right? Um, we were on our bicycles, we were, you know, whatever. We were training to do something for the very first time. Um, and we fail, right? We fail, but someone was always there right beside us to tell us to get back up. You got this. Get back up and try again, right? And a lot of times we get to the point where we fall. Now that we've gotten older and we understand a little bit more, we're like, we fall, but it's, it's harder for us to get back up. We don't necessarily want to get back up because we feel like we've ultimately been defeated. But let me tell you that you're only defeated when you don't try again. You're only defeated when you don't get back up. And I want you to know that you have me in your corner. You have God in your corner. You have close family and friends that are in your corner. And you have your church family that is in your corner to help you in making sure that you get back up and you try again and you do it again, that you don't stop, that yes, that did happen. Yes, you did make that mistake, but that does not define you. That does not define who you are. You are bigger and better than that. You are strong. You are amazing. You are um, talented, right? 
you have to provide you have to provide those affirmations you have to give yourself those affirmations you have to let yourself know that you are an amazing person that you are an originator right you are nobody can do it but you you got this so lift yourself up with more positivity give yourself that that pep talk that boost of energy right that you need instead of being stuck in this negative pout that can ultimately bring you down and place you in a position that you don't want to be in don't get yourself in that position make sure that you have a plan right away before you actually get to that point you can do this don't allow your mind to go there we're going to talk about this a little bit later but i definitely want to go ahead and give you a sneak peek right away to make sure that you don't get to that point right so i want to let you guys know that there are going to be troubled times but you got this don't give up don't let go don't allow negativity to penetrate to get in where there are two battles that are going to that are always in your mind that's always going on in your mind right you have something that's telling you to 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 do it and not to do it you have to understand which one you are are you going to go ahead and, and allow something that is so small to overpower your emotions your thoughts your thoughts are power your thoughts are power so are you going to allow your thoughts to control who you are to define who you are are you going to allow what this small little thing this small event this small situation that happened in your life to to overcome your life and and be the dictator of your life or are you going to rise above you have the chance and opportunity to do one the other and so that's something that we're going to talk about in depth a little bit later but I hope that you guys hold on to this message. I hope that you hold on to this plan and definitely take heed of this plan because it's definitely gonna help you in the long run to make sure that you don't fall victim. This is gonna happen again. You're gonna be given the same type of situation again, but what are you gonna do differently? That's the ultimate thing. Rise above and say, I, yes, I made a mistake, but here's what I'm gonna do differently when it comes around again. You know a test, you fail the test, you're gonna get the same test again until you pass it. You gotta be positive, y'all. We all have to be positive. We are all going through something, whether it's the smallest thing to the largest thing or in between, it doesn't matter, right? We're all going through something. And so I hope that you guys get it. I hope you guys understand it. And I hope you guys truly make a change and make a difference in your life to not allow depression to overwhelm you and overcome your emotions and your personality, who you are, who you're trying to become. Be a role model for yourself. Instead of trying to worry about what other people are doing or what other people are saying and whoever else is watching you, first, learn to be a role model for yourself to love yourself, to appreciate yourself, to accept yourself and who you are and what you're going through, to acknowledge it and say, this is not gonna define me, that this may be something that I'm going through right now, but it's not gonna be the last thing that I go through, that I am more than a conqueror, that I am better than this. This is just an obstacle that I need to overcome, that I am going through, but I am going to surpass this. This is going to be behind me before I know it. So make sure you hold on to that. And I hope you guys hold on and take this plan into consideration. I hope it helps you. You guys, if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and comment below. Also, of course, don't forget to subscribe. I cannot wait to share with you more sessions to come. 
So definitely stay tuned. You do not want to miss them. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.